Hey guys, here I disassembled this deck. Check it up all parts. Appears that this deck is in a very good shape mechanically. It has been uh, serviced. The belts are in a good shape. And this one like close to the factory specs. You see, it's thin uh, and it's straight here and it's still good. And the other belt, same still good and stretchy uh all parts are in place uh capacitors has been replaced not to the smd but this doesn't matter much the main thing is that it should work uh now i will start assembling uh, we'll put parts back together so here we have enough lubricant so i'm just putting back into position where it was right here checking out that heads pulls up yes you see heads pulls pretty well good and get into the stop position so stop position when this uh if you may see here is a scene line and it should point to this uh so this part it sits right there this will push the gears to get in touch and they will reject the tape and open the door uh, next part this guy yeah there are quite plenty of lubricant and it looks to be pretty good so i'm installing it back so it goes like that everything works nice and easy here I believe I will add a little bit of lubricant to the gear from this side so it will work even better and easier because it will push different levers okay. let me put it back like that okay this gets inside this rail and it, at the end it will lock head so it would not go down and this lever I see it's here and when gear will rotate in the opposite direction it will push this gear here get in, in touch uh, with uh, this large gear and this large gear will open the door and there is two switches right here and this gear will push one or another depending on the position to let transport know that door has been opened or closed because when we started push the door uh, one of the switches get information about this and door we closed automatically okay moving on uh, this gear let me it's a little bit a little bit here It gets right here and it will transfer power uh, from the real motor to open the door. So these three gears and this lever are required to transfer power to the door. Okay, next. A little bit of these shafts. And this belt sits like that and carefully put this gear 
to not move this one because otherwise belt will shoot out from this position. Uh, a couple touches here. I probably will unscrew motors and try to put at least a bit of oil into its uh, bearings. They still run smooth with no noise. So if your Sony deck screaming like crazy, even if you know there is no uh, speaker phones installed, that's the root cause. Uh, these motors uh, has here bearings, uh, which will be producing loud noise like that. You hear? Yeah. So we we about like to start being very noisy. <laughs> Let me add a drop of oil here. Uh, here. So they will be soaking like that. No more screaming noise. And this one is there. So that's how you may check it. Because if you don't do it, like I had a case when I deck start working and then started screaming and I was looking what's wrong, like what can produce such loud noise. So it was this bearings. Now we should be good. Again, assemble them back. While we have good access, I would deoxidize the switches. So I will use my BV100 right here on the switches, but I will do not not above the table. Sorry. Let them suck a little bit. Make them work. Done. So, next position here. I should move it. So, error would point to this uh, line. And here I told you this line should point to this lever or this pin should be at the bottom and this pin goes right here in between now carefully put everything back make sure that pin uh, will get in between the cheeks okay long screw with uh, special head goes into this position and four others goes one here one here 
one here and one here. I'm always start from this large jeer screw. And also good to make sure that this switch uh, okay have to release a little bit. You see right there. So it should go above the chair. Otherwise it will it maybe get broken. Okay. See right here. Now we can screw this guy. Okay, and now it's time to put this rubber belt onto the pulley. Done. Right here. Good. I hope you can see it because it's very thin. Everything is too small for me to see what you see. So we've done with this part. Next part is to clean and install this base for the cup stands. I will clear these shafts from the old lubricant because it looks very dry for me. Okay, next, put everything back, right here, and we will be fixing it with the four screws. Sony tape transfer is the quickest to, to rebuild, really. Easy to access, easy to disassemble. You just follow the order of instructions. The only thing like that you would need a gauge to set the height of the heads, not heads, of the guides with pinch roller. That's the only thing. Like, you cannot disassemble tape transfer without removing pinch rollers. Uh, if they do differently and these shafts will be installed some, some kind of differently, maybe it may work better, but the idea was to have a good base when these shafts will be in a parallel uh, to the capstan bearings. That's very important. That's where we're getting good results from the Sony decks. Okay, next piece, capstans. Uh, make sure that you have a spacer here and I will lubricate it and put into the bearing like that. That's what you need to check that everything is oiled properly and it will run smoothly, you see? like that same here make sure you have spacer Voila. this would not run now because it uh, has to be pulled to the back plate backboard by magnets so 
it sits on the coil that's why it's not running now but i will make sure that we will lubricate it properly and we would need to clean cup stands uh, where they will get in touch with the um, pinch rollers you see this belt is tight and sits good done this part assembled the last piece from the back side is this capstan motor board and we have to install it like that don't tie too much because as uh, this base is cast iron and it can get destroyed very quickly just like uh, good enough don't tie it too too strong now put the ground under this wire like that and connect FG coil and power to the capstan motor so we completed the back side now let's work on the front side so first of all install the spacers for like oil washing Oh, I would not get to the tape now we have to check the free space you see it's too much if this capstan will go so much it would not keep the face well so what I will do so there is a plastic spacer which we need to adjust so a little bit too tight It should have about like half a millimeter. No, it's too much. It's still a little bit more than one millimeter. Yeah, it's about half millimeter now. You can hear it. And it should roll free, very free, like that. You run and it's run, rolls and rolls and rolls. Almost forever. And see here the spacer, it will go lower now. That will make sure is that your a cup stand wouldn't go back and forth, right? And as that's your pinch roller and tape will sit on the same place. And the Kamichi, they put a spring between uh, cup stand itself and the base. So they put a spring so it will always push it back to the board. Sony decided to use this plastic adjustment pin. Okay, next let's clean capstans from the wheel. Oops. Excuse me for a second. pinch roller to get in touch with the oil on the cup stands so just rolling and cleaning with the isopropyl I 
you see how dirty capstans are. Okay, and I will clean heads while it's very convenient to do so. This has has a little bit wear, but not bad, really. It's uh, even, and I hope I will adjust this deck just fine. Each roller has been replaced. Let me see it closer. You hear how it runs? And when it has plastic base, it never should run like that. This roller is not good, it has not even surface in the hole. So that's a, a, a big problem. So, okay, let me disassemble it. I have to replace it. Carefully, this plastic is very sensitive. Okay, it looks like it's, it's too big. Why it can get out? Usually it does easily. Let me see. No, it cannot really. Okay, I'm usually removing to work and don't afraid to break it because this piece is a guide and it's really important for your tape pass. Okay, I will be removing this roller in a different way. Give me a minute, I will get back to you. I have to use white. That's why, sorry. soft cheeks on my eyes. I will show you a little bit later, but it allows to gently keep everything. Easy. And pin removed. So yeah, this roller. I would not use it.
Actually, my roller is just a run away from the box. I spent like time trying to find a good pinch rollers and that's uh, the one I settled because they work well after a year of testing without any issues. So just a little bit of oil here. Don't get here. It's just too big for this. Really? Why? It always did work. Let me check. Maybe bent, let me see. Where's my second glass? Interesting book straight. Aha, uh -huh, here a little bit bent. Just a little bit here we go and now it goes straight and smooth okay closing now we have a nice new pinch roller installed which will roll ideally smooth next we have to put lubricant here Put the spring, then assemble this plastic together with metal piece. Make sure that it goes up and down and install the nut. Okay, we will set level a little bit later. Now let's replace the second roller. It's easy to remove. It just pops from here like that. Yeah, it's it's old already. on the new pitch roller nice and easy now lubricating the other shaft and installing it back
is holes here with large plastic spacer like that okay next installing this jewel for fast forward rewind is being kept with a small spacer like that and we are about to complete let's check the head positions see I just got it right and head sits on correct height good what I would do I would remove this sealant so I would be able to put a new one Oops, it's, it's rolled. Okay, removed. I have to tune up again and then seal. Here. Let's be much closer. The tape should go smoothly right here. This is great. Okay. It's done. And then we'll seal it right away. It will not affect significantly on the tape pass anymore. Okay, next let's install the cover with the light. It should go onto the spins on both sides. And the door. Stolen the pin. And the spacer. Okay. Like that. See? Next part, let's install this base. It goes with this cut to this chair, like that. Now we may close it and install the spring, which should go in this position.
this long goes here. And we assemble it. So let me put the tape transport in the deck and we will run initial tests. Let's see how it will perform. Thanks for your attention. But well, this will be a different part.